Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very fun and special unboxing from the 24P collection. It is definitely a very classic piece. And you know what? I'm just talking a bit too fast. So let's just get right into it before I just let my excitement out right now. The bag is pretty deceiving for what it is, but let's just take out the box. As usual, I love Chanel packaging. And I know with everything that's going on with Chanel and the price increases recently, a lot of their products are just unjustifiable. But for people who are collectors, there's certain pieces that you need from the brand, regardless of the price. And I know that might sound a bit snobby or like, you know, not so appealing to some of you guys, but you know what? This is a piece that I was not willing to give up on. And honestly, I do have multiples in this style, but this color combination is something that is so classic that everyone needs in their collection. So, and it wasn't even a planned purchase, honestly. I'm very surprised and shocked that I was actually able to get my hands on these by just walking in. I'll open the product first and then tell you guys the details and where I was able to score this bag from. So let's open it right up. And I did open the ribbon, but I never opened the actual bag. That's why it looks a bit winky wonky. So yeah, let's get right into it. Any guesses, guys? The box is pretty big, to be honest, for what it is. But here we go. Of course, there's the dust bag on the top. Here's the size of the dust bag. I'll leave this right here. And here is the bag. Look at the packaging. So I did make a very, very big request for them to package the bag correctly. For those of you who don't remember or those of you who haven't watched my previous videos, there was a Chanel bag that was similar shape and size of this one, which was caused to be damaged based on the packaging that was done. And I was never able to get my hands on that one because it was so rare and so special. And I had to return it because of the damage. So yeah, I made it very clear to them that the packaging must be perfect. Fingers crossed and praying that this packaging is good enough and there has been no damage done to the bag. But yeah, if you guys wanna do see that video, check it out. And honestly, that was the last bag that I ever bought from Chanel and that also I returned based on the quality issues. Um, it wasn't really a quality issue, it was a packaging issue. Someone, whoever packed the bag, made a mistake in a way that it dented the bag with a chain. So I didn't want that to be repeated and they did acknowledge that and help with the packaging. So as you can tell, this time the chain is packed in the front and let's open it right up. I'm not sure how I'll go about this, but let me try. I don't want to ruin it because I do want to pack it up the way it came. So here is the chain. And as you guys can tell by the color, it is a black. And here is the new covering that they do for the bags on the top. And here we have the beautiful classic Chanel mini black lambskin with gold hardware and top handle. The lambskin from this season is so puffy and gorgeous. Wow, I honestly didn't notice it that much in the store. It is very shiny, very puffy. Oh my God, I love it. It's so full and the quilts are very puffy. It is light gold champagne hardware, but it does look silver on camera for some reason. Here you go, if I am close up a bit, you can see, and there's a sticker on as well. So it's a bit difficult to tell. And this is the top handle. It is a stunning, absolutely stunning classic from Chanel. I do have the Chanel rectangular without the top handle. And with the top handle, I have one in the metallic green from another collection, but black and light gold is absolutely classic. It's a microchip and the interior is also black. I would love it if it was red or burgundy. And there's a Chanel stamp and logo. And it comes with a zip right here. The quality and condition so far looks absolutely stunning. I did pick it up from the Selfridges Manchester store. And they honestly, I was really surprised and shocked 
because I was offered this on walk-in and I know these bags are wait list or wish list only especially if you are a new client but even for existing VVIP clients there is a list that you have to be put on that is how I was able to uh, accomplish my other two Chanel minis actually I have a few Chanel minis and all of them were through wish list none of them were walk-in so I was able to get this on walk-in and it was it was very very surprising actually they had two in stock and they did give me a choice between both they both were honestly immaculate condition and I decided to choose this one just because this one was fully wrapped as you guys saw and the other one wasn't um, but yeah this one is the one I chose they were exactly the same and the essay did mention to me that they had just received them the same day so i was really really lucky and i was able to get my hands on it and it was honestly near closing time so they had just received it during closing time for the next day but they did offer it to me and i'm really really grateful for it and the price of this was around four thousand five hundred british pounds i think four five eight zero something like that which is a lot for a chanel mini but that's Chanel for you. They keep increasing their prices and people keep justifying, including me, as you can see, to buy them. Um, but I honestly think this is gonna be my last Chanel bag um, for a while, unless there's something I really, really love. And it will be a remembrance. It will be a collector's piece. And I would love to just end my Chanel collection with this, unless there's something else that's better and bigger or greater. So if you guys, think that Chanel is no longer, you know, worth it. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. I definitely do agree that the prices do not match the quality or do not match the bag anymore, but that's life, that's the economy, that's what they're doing. They're just bringing the prices up uh, without improving anything. And uh, the, the customer service is also decreasing by the day. So yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts on Chanel and their exorbitant price increases every year, every few months actually. But yeah, this piece was, I just couldn't pass up on. I'm actually just in awe of the beauty of the quilts and the lambskin. This 24P collection, it is absolutely beautiful and stunning. I, I, I think this is a good decision. I mean, of course I'm trying to justify it to myself as you guys can tell but let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this beauty it's very versatile day to night top handle and long strap crossbody you can even put it inside and just carry it with the top so yeah i love this bag and let me know what your guys' thoughts and if you guys do have one let me know how you guys use it and how it's been going so far and i hope you guys have a great day peace